Okay, this is for Algebra 2, and we're covering synthetic division and how that compares to like long division and how it helps us when we evaluate. So for example, the very first one on this worksheet, it wants you to evaluate when x is 2. So everywhere you see an x, you're going to substitute a 2. So right here on your worksheet paper, we're going to put in a 2. So look what you get right here. You're going to get 2 squared, which is what? 4 minus 6 plus 5. That gives me negative 2 plus 5, which gives me 3. So there's your answer. Okay, let me show you how synthetic division works. What you're going to want to do is write down all the coefficients. Make sure, first of all, that your polynomial is in order. And by order, I mean x to the second, x to the first. This is technically like x to the zero. Okay, no x's. Write down your coefficients. So I have a 1. See the number right in front of there is a 1. Then a negative 3, and then a 5. Make this cute little design. You're evaluating when x is 2. So I'm going to put a 2 right here. And here's how it works. Whatever this first number is, you drop it straight down. Then you multiply on the diagonal, and then you always add up and down. Multiply on the diagonal, add up and down. And notice that last number you get is what you got when you evaluated. Okay, let's do another one here. Looky, looky. Okay, how about if we try this one, number three? And let me get some clean paper here to work with. Okay, this one wants you to evaluate when x is 4. So I want you to do this both ways on the worksheet. So everywhere you see an x, you're going to put in a 4. So we want to evaluate when x is 4, so we're going to do this, plus 2. Okay, 4 cubed is what? 64 minus 16 plus 44 plus 12. Okay, add that all up together. 64 minus 16 is what? 48 plus 44 is, let's see, gosh, plus 44 is what, 92 plus 2, so we're going to get what, 94. Okay, that's a little harder, numbers were a little bigger, that's okay. Now, here's how it works with synthetic division. <clears throat> Write down all your coefficients, make sure your polynomial is in order. So my coefficients are a 1, a negative 1, let me write this down, I've got a 1, a negative 1, an 11 and a 2. And we're wanting to evaluate when x is 4. So we're going to put a 4 right there. So here's how this works. Whatever this first number is, drop it straight down. Multiply on the diagonal, add up and down. Multiply on the diagonal, always add up and down. Multiply on the diagonal, what's that give me? 80, 92, add up and down. And notice we got the same answer. So whether you use synthetic division or you just plug it in, which is called evaluate, you're going to get the same answer. So that's what you're going to do on this first side of the worksheet. Now, let me do this one real quick, number five, for you. Because um, notice, let me get some paper, I'll just work right here. Notice we're missing some terms, okay, in here. So first of all, let's find out what x equals what it equals when x is negative 3. So I'm going to put negative 3 in here. Be careful with your signs. So everywhere I see an x, I'm putting in negative 3. Okay, negative 3 cubed. That's 3 times 3 times 3. That's going to give me what? Negative 27. Negative 3 squared is 9 minus 10. Okay, that's negative 27 plus 18. So, let's see, mentally, negative 9. This is going to give me, what, negative 9 minus 10, so I'm going to get, what, negative 19. Now, let's try it with synthetic division, but here's the trick. Watch your coefficients. For x to the third, I have a 1. For x to the second, I have a 2. Notice there isn't an x to the first, so I have to put in a 0 and then a negative 10. Okay, so you have to have a digit a number to put in for every term. So if you if there's a term missing, you have to put in what's a placeholder. So I'm going to do this. Again, I'm trying negative 3. So use a negative 3. Whatever this first number is, drop it. Multiply on the diagonal. Add up and down. That's going to give me, what, a 3? Add up and down. Multiply on the diagonal. Add up and down. And again, once again, these answers should always be the same. So. Here, you're going to be careful. Notice you're missing an x to the third, so you're going to have to put in a placeholder. All right.
Now, I want you to look at the back real quick. It says right here, um, use this using long division. And I think I already have a video on this that I'm going to clip in, so I will attach that one as well. Um, I want you to be sure you remember how to do long division. Maybe I will go down here and do this one because I know I didn't do this one on the video. You're going to do this using long division. So watch this real quick. I'm going to divide this by x plus 3. If you don't remember how to do this, remember you're looking for some number here that when you multiply it by x would give you 3x squared. So you're just kind of looking at these first two terms for now. So gosh, that would be what, 3x? Why? Because 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 3 then gives me a 9x. Now here's what everybody forgets. When you subtract these two, you have to remember to change the signs of both. These are going to cancel. 5x minus 9x is what, a negative 4x <clears throat> minus 4. You always bring down that next term. Okay, so play the game again. What? When you multiply by this first term, x would give you this first term, negative 4x. Well, it would be a negative 4, because negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And then remember, you have to then change your signs. These are going to cancel, and whatever's left is your remainder. So I have a remainder of 8. Now, you can write r8. That's fine, but technically it's a positive 8, so you should write your remainder. You always add on your remainder 8 over whatever you're dividing by, x plus 3. Okay, so that's your answer when using long division. Now, we've been doing synthetic division, so let me show you how that works. Again, same thing, write down your coefficients. So you have a 3, a 5, and a negative 4. Now, what do you put in right here? You're going to put in whatever makes this 0. And notice it would be a negative 3. So that's the tricky part. You're going to have to be careful what you plug in right there. Drop this first number, whatever it is. Multiply on the diagonal. Add up and down. Multiply on the diagonal. And add up and down. Whatever number you get right here is always the remainder. That last number. Sometimes you get a remainder of 0. This time we got a remainder of 8. Notice that was our remainder right there. This next number over is your boring constant, just the boring number at the end. And notice, see that boring number right there at the end, negative 4? And the next number over would be x to the first. Gosh, if you even had more numbers, the next one would be x to the second, the next to the third. So I can see my polynomial here would be 3x to the first minus 4. See it? 3x to the first minus 4. And then there's your remainder. So that's kind of cool when you're doing that. Um, by the way, it says now to number four using synthetic division. Well, I just did it, but I did it in the wrong spot. And there you go.